Hello, um, so today we're doing a bit of a different type of episode, or not episode, sorry, uh, video. I'm used to doing my roleplay episodes, so sorry if I say episodes a few times. Um, so recently a uh, family member of mine um, wanted me to do a tutorial for, uh, like, Minecraft because um, she wanted to play it with one of her family members but wasn't sure of the controls so in this video I will be doing both the PC version of controls which is the version I'm playing now hello Mr. Pig um, and the switch version I'll let you know when we switch to the switch version uh, for controls and stuff excuse me anyway um, so, this is not really sure how long this video is going to be. Also, don't know why the music isn't working. Maybe it's because I have my headphones at 6 volume for some reason. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, for some reason, the uh, volume through my headphones was really quiet. And also, I'm curious on why there's no background noise. Hold on. Okay. So, to get to, like, your pause tab or whatever, you press the escape key on your keyboard. And you get the back to game achievements and all this other stuff. Uh, to get to volume and stuff, you go to options. Music and sounds. Yeah, I have it at 50. Maybe it doesn't like being that low. Alright, we'll try 70. If it's too loud, it's, yeah. Um, so, to in the options tab, you have, the, to make the difficulty easy, your viewpoint, which you can change from normal, to close up, to very far. Very far can be disorienting. So, most of us like to stick it to normal. Or at least I like to keep it at normal. Uh, you can do skin customization, uh, video settings, which is just changing the biomes. If you don't really care what world you're in, you don't really have to do that. Resource packs, if you want. Okay. Uh, resource packs, if you want to change how the game looks, which is how I get my game to look like this in my roleplay. Uh, okay, um, so also you can change your language, chat settings, um, credits I think is the, okay, now I, w I will uh, say this, I am used to playing the 1.12.2 version, and this is the newest version of the game. So some of like this, the accessible settings, uh, temper templatory data, th basically this one, this one, and this one are new to me, but because uh, I'm used to playing the modded version for my roleplay, like I said, so uh, some of this is new for me, but pretty much for the controls and everything, it's pretty much the same. So to get to controls, which shows you a list of where all the controls are, you click controls. Um, okay, like I said a few seconds ago, this screen is new to me because I'm used to doing screen, like you click controls and it has a list. So, sprint is your uh, control key. You like hit it. Okay, so hold on. Okay, those pigs are loud. Okay, so we're gonna go to a flat area. And, okay, so this is normal walking. This is W. I should probably say W is forward, S is backwards, A is left, and D is right. So that's how you're able to move around. Um, also, the, uh, the spin thing, the middle button on your mouse. Uh, you only have this if you have a mouse, I believe. I don't think you could do it on a trackpad. Which, to be honest, if it's personal opinion, <clears throat> excuse me, 
I wouldn't want to play this game on it with a trackpad. It just makes it twice as more difficult. <coughs> now, you can play it on a trackpad, like the trackpad on a laptop, but it is, like, again, more difficult. Um, I would, per I personally have always played it with, or up to my memory, I've always played it with a mouse. Um, just makes moving and inventory much better. Anyways, so to get it to where it's spinning, like uh, on the toolbar, which is the b bar at the bottom where I have the thing going, is the middle button. You just rotate it, or you can do key bindings, one, two, three, four, five, all the way to all the way up to nine, and you just hit them, and it goes to that inventory. Um, looking around is just spinning your mouse and or spinning on your trackpad. So, uh, to sprint, you hit W, or you hit Control and W, and then you're sprinting. So, for instance, this is normal walking, and this is sprinting. Also, for those who are wondering, space, is, space bar is jump. Hold on. Ah, space bar is jump. <laughs> so you could do something like... This. And unlike other games, you can also you can jump and sprint and walk at the same time. There are some games where, you, like Skyrim, for instance, where you can't. You can only walk, and then you have to stop and take a jump. It's very annoying. <laughs> um, which, luckily, in um, like uh, Bethesda's Game Studios made Skyrim, but in Fallout 4, you can both sprint and jump at the same time. Sprint, jump, sneak, all that other stuff. Uh, to sneak, or at the same time. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked, sorry. Uh, to sneak is your shift button. You just hold it down. And you're sneaking. Alright. Um, <clears throat> so, I think that's it. Let me check. Okay, go back to options, controls, keybinds. Yeah, keybinds is where you can see all of the... Um, the, where like this key does what and stuff like that. See, here's your hot bar to drop to drop an item. I thought it was R. Okay, I was wrong. I must. I'm thinking. I probably have controls for different games. Like I'm head. To drop an item is Q. Uh, to use a block <clears throat> or pick up a block or destroy a block is your mouse. Um. Which we'll get into the inventory stuff when, um, uh, I, cause, uh, uh, when I get into survival, uh, survival mode. Because I am currently in creative. Which means if you press E for inventory, you can do all of this stuff. Which they've added a bunch. They've also reorganized some stuff. Because that used to be a potion. Oh, they added the turtle. <laughs> that used to be a mod, the turtle shell. Um, oh, they have. Oh, that's neat. Oh, that used to be a mod where you can do boats and stuff with uh, storage. Sorry, again, newest version of the game. I'm not used to playing the newest version of the game. So let's switch into survival mode. Hold on. Let's switch into survival mode real quick, and I will have some like stuff where you could, uh, like a sword, a pickaxe, stuff like that, so I can show you what it use, what it does. Alrighty, so now we're in survival mode, which includes where you have damage, so you could, if you let your hearts go all the way down, you die. Which, by the way, it, in um, in Adventure, survi adventure, survival, well, you don't die in creative, because you can fly around and stuff. Um, in adventure and cre in, uh, survival, sorry, uh, you will respawn at, like, a bed. But in hardcore mode, if you die, you're, you're done. You, you don't respawn and stuff like that. Uh, so, and the, but you also have, in all of those, you have uh, a hunger meter. And if you let the hunger meter go all the way down, you it starts taking off your health. So, um, 
Also, in survival mode, you can't fly. You can only fly in creative mode. Uh, at least to fly like I was in creative mode. You can fly in survival mode if you have, I think it's a totem of um, dying, and then you have the wings. It starts with an E, the E wings. I can't remember the exact name, but it, like, it lets you fly and stuff like that. Um, so, oh, I should probably mention. To get from creative mode, like you change the mode games, you just hit this backslash, type in game mode, and you just do uh, all of those, which I didn't know they included Spectre, that's neat. Oops. Um, and to get out of the slash chat, pretty much you just press escape. To get into chat, if you don't want to hit backsplash, or backsplash, backslash is T. Okay, so, and you could also, um, you could set the day, like, to night and daytime and all this other stuff. Okay. So, I'm going to show you what the sword does. Hello, Mr. Piggy. So, to hit something... Oh, no. It has your pork chop now. Okay. So, to attack something, you do your left click. To, uh... I forget what left click does, or right click... Uh, basically just left click is you punch. Um, same thing with the pickaxe, axe, hoe, which makes it so you can plant stuff. Which if you have a shovel, you can make like pathways. Um, I'm not going to murder the pig. So because it's getting nighttime, I am going to dig myself a hole. And stay there for the night. Okay, so to hit a, a block, you press your left key. And if it's dirt, you can you could do it with your hand. Now, once you get to stone, you have to use a pickaxe. Which, you know, you can do this. And to make a pickaxe, you need wood. But it is dark. I'm just going to change the time. Today... There we go. Okay. So with an axe, you go up to any tree, doesn't matter the tree, and there you have wood. Ta-da! Okay, and so you're gonna need a lot of this because you you make sticks and all this other stuff with it, which means you can make um. No, I'm doing a thing. I don't need rain. Um, what I just did was I just cleared the weather. Um, but you could, if you, you know, you can leave it in rain and everything. And you also, in the settings, the music and settings, uh, music and sound options, sorry, you can toggle how loud you want the weather to be. So I typically have mine around 40, both my music and my weather around 40 because both of them as you know as you just experienced with the rain can get pretty loud so okay so now that you have some wood you press e for inventory which by the way you can change the key bindings for everything but i would advise until you get used to the game you stick with the basic key bindings so you press e for inventory you find your logs you go up to your crafting little workbench and to get just one, you just click. To get all of them, you shift click and it all goes into one. Now you can do sticks and like, so you can do sticks, which means you can make torches. Um, I think that's pretty much it because the crafting uh, layout is pretty small. To make one that's bigger, you do four planks and you make a crafting table. Now in the crafting table, you, you oh that's what that's what left click that's what right click does. Right click it places the box down. My bad. Um, apologies also if I mess up some stuff because I played this game for so long that it it it's kind of burned into my memory. 
Okay, so, and you also use right click to click on blocks. So this is a bigger crafting bench than say here. So you can build torches if you have coal. Um, you can make a pickaxe like that, an axe like that, a shovel, and with one stick you can make a sword. Now I already have all of these because I was in creative mode. Now to one you find ore, let me get some more, oh, oh right, it drops, um, whenever you uh, wait for like, if you uh, destroy the, uh, the leaves, most of the time it doesn't drop anything, but if you wait for it to uh, degrade, because there's no wood to keep it, you know, uh, quote unquote alive, it will drop saplings and sticks. Okay, let me go. That's not the cave I created. I see the music has, has decided to work. Okay, let me get some more cobblestone. Okay, so when you mine cobblestone, it become or when you mine stone, excuse me, it becomes cobblestone. Which, if you go back to your crafting bench, you can use to create tools and also a furnace. Which, if you have a furnace, you press it, place it down. You right click to get into it, which I don't need the sticks. So, oh, and to div divide, if you don't want to put all of your sticks in your furnace. You can right click and you just, it splits the stack and then it splits it again. If you, you know, you can split it indefinitely until you get to like two or one of whatever it was. To cook the raw pork chop, you put it in the furnace and you wait. You wait until that is done and then you have a cooked pork chop, which you can eat. Nom nom nom. If I was hungry. All right, so, and also, you want to keep at least one of these at your base. So to, what I just did was, with the furnace, you have to pick it up with a uh, pickaxe, even if it's like a, sto a wooden pickaxe or a stone pickaxe. Otherwise, you destroy it. Um, now, with uh, crafting benches, you can, you can destroy it with just your fist, or... You can destroy it with an axe, which is honestly a bit faster. Um, which I think you can destroy it with pretty much any tool, but with like, yeah, the crafting bench is just weird. You can destroy it with any tool. I think except for the, no, you can destroy it with a sword too. Um, the crafting bench is one of the ones where you can destroy it with pretty much anything and you get it back. Now a furnace, if you destroy it with anything but a pickaxe, including your fists, you will uh, destroy it. Um, which means you have to recreate a, a new one. So, there's some melons over here. So you hit the melon, you get melon slices. To get melon, sli melon seeds, you put the melon slice in your inventory, and voila, you have a melon seed, which means you can plant. Which, you use the hoe, you right click the, the ground, you get the seed, ta-da, you plant it. Alright, and you can make farms, although I will advise, uh, when you in your farm, you have at least one block with like water in it, which means you make a bucket, which pretty much the crafting, you have iron and you put it like this and you get a bucket. Uh, which means you can right click and gather water, lava, pretty much any liquid milk from a cow. Um, you have uh, at least one uh, water block every few blocks in your garden, so there's water. Also, to get the seed back, you pretty much just punch it. And you get the seed back. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but to place a block, you right click. I think I mentioned it, but I'm not sure. Now, you see there's sheep. You see there's sheep there? Now, sheep are, you can make a bed from their wool, but 
You can either murder the sheep with your sword, but if you don't want to murder the sheep, you make shears. Which, to make shears, you put two pieces of iron diagonal, and you should get a pair of shears. Now, to shear the sheep, you right click. And you get wool. Now, to make a bed, you need, I'll just make one, hold on. Um, to make a bed, you put your crafting bench down. You get some wood, or wood planks. You place it down, like that. You put the wool on top of it. You have a wed. Um. I just combined white and bed in one word. <laughs> My bed. You have a bed. <laughs> now, you can dye your beds. Now, this is a white bed. Aha! If you want... Uh, if you want to make dye, you collect flowers. Or, if you want, like, blue or something like that, you have to collect um, lapis, which you can do in mines. Uh, to get dye, you just put it in your inventory, you get yellow dye. Put a poppy in, you get red dye. Now I want a red bed, so I collect the bed. Right click your crafting bench. You put the bed and the dye next to each other. And now I have a red bed. But what if I wanted a yellow bed? I think you can, no you can't. You have to make another bed, but you pretty much do the same thing. You just put the white bed and then the dye next to each other. Now, Minecraft gets scary at night, depending on if you if you have it. So if you have, okay, so go to options, you can change the difficulty of your world. I currently have it on easy, but you can have it on normal, hard, peaceful, which peaceful is like there's no enemies whatsoever. So if you want to build through the night and not have to worry about spiders and skeletons and zombies, you, you, you're on peaceful. Easy is... Eh, it's, it's not as bad as normal or hardcore. Hardcore is the hardest mode of the game, by the way. Um, it's the one where if you die, you, you don't respawn. Um, uh, easy, I think it drains your uh, hunger and stuff uh, slower than, say, normal. Um, but yeah, uh, if you right click on a bed, it s sets your respawn point. Now I love cows, because you can get milk from cows, but you can also get beef from cows. Ta-da! Okay, you get leather from cows, you also get raw beef from cows. Like the pork, ch you do, to cook the beef, you do pretty much exactly what you did with the pork chop. Now, if you get enough leather, you can make armor, which to make pants, you put leather in the, this shape. To make a helmet, you put it in this shape. To make a leather like chest plate, you put it here, here, and then fill in the rest. Every block but this one. And to make shoes, you just put it from, you put it at the two, uh, like these two right here. Now, armor will help your defense. You can put ar your armor here, and you can also have a shield. It helps with uh, how much damage you take at night, from or not just at night, but from mobs and monsters that you run into. Because in caves, if you do not have a torch, uh, mobs and stuff will spawn. And they usually hone in on one player. Unless you have a mod that fixes it, but usually they hone in on just one player. So, you notice it's getting dark out. Well, it's a good thing we made a bed, because you right-click, and you sleep. And you get the advancement, sweet dreams. And you're dead. Which, if I had- oh, there we go. There's mobs. They, uh, they burn. Every, every mob but spider, or zombies and skeletons- burn in the daytime. I don't know about spiders, witches, and I think a few others. Uh, well, okay, as, I've, as far as I know, only skeletons and zombies burn in the sunlight. So, you see these things hanging off trees? These are cocoa beans. No. For those coffee lovers, you can't make coffee out of them. 
but you can make cookies, cakes, and brown dye out of them. Now, you can plant them by going up to any, I think it's any tree, but I could be wrong, because as far as I know, it's only uh, jungle wood, which is this wood right here. You right click it, and you have planted a cocoa bean. Now, you have to, it goes from here. This is a ripe cocoa bean. This one is still growing. This one is halfway. You have to wait to get more cocoa beans. If you just want that one cocoa bean, you break the, you break this. I'm pretty sure you get the cocoa bean back. I could be wrong. Now, if you want to harvest cocoa beans, you do a full one that's fully grown and you get more cocoa beans. Also, if you have one or more of anything like in your inventory, it will automatically stack up to 64, I believe. Mostly everything stacks of 64. There's a couple that don't, but I can't remember off the top of my head what it was. So, moving on, I have found a chicken, which with chickens, if you murder the chicken, I, 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 I head up, no, no, no. There we go. Um, so to get from chickens, you get feathers, which you can make arrows out of, and you also get raw chicken. Hello, Mr. Cow. Also, seeds. Um, it, exactly how you planted the. Oh, no, no, there we go. Exactly how you planted the uh, melon. You right click. I'm doing it next to water so it, you know irrigates the, the uh, plant, the, the place where you're planting the seed, and you right click. Now when you plant seeds, it's a wheat seed, so you get wheat, which means you can make bread. But sadly, you can't make any sandwiches with said bread. You can with mods, but not in the base game. So let me go get my crafting bench and bed real quick. Just so, you know, I can take it with me. Also, if you pick up a bed and you don't sleep and you die, it respawns you in the place you were before. Um, there are mods that make it to where you keep your inventory even when you die. Um, they could have changed that, but um, if they haven't, when you die, you lose all your inventory and you have to go find it. But there are mods that make it so you keep your inventory when you die. See, it's irrigated and pretty much you wait for it to grow and then you can get bread. You can swim in this game. To stay above the water, you press space. But you can dive, but you have air bubbles. And once you, oh, hello. Okay, um, once you run out of air bubbles, it will start taking your health. So there is that, so you have to be careful with that. Uh, I think that's the basics. Just make sure you, you know, you keep your hunger filled up. You, uh, have a sword to protect you. I just realized something I could show you. Um, this is sugar cane. Now if you hit the bottom, you get two. You can make paper, or you can make sugar, which sugar, cocoa beans, and I think wheat and milk is how you make a cake. You can look up recipes on Google. I have done that in the past. Now, if you put, ah, okay, um, I forgot about this thing. They included, uh, they included that in the, in the newer, newer patch. I thought if you put two sugar canes together, you could bake a paper, but, <sighs> sorry, um, so to look up recipes, you can click this book, and the ones that you can make, you show up, or show up in gray, um, it's divided into categories, um, of the ones you found. Now, you can't make paper right yet, but I thought you could with sugarcane, unless they've changed it. They might have changed it. 
to be honest, they've probably changed it. I apologize if some of this is old information. Uh, I haven't really, I've been so focused on getting my roleplay and stuff figured out that I haven't really played the more modern, uh, updated versions of the game. So there's that. Oh, there's also a fishing rod, which means you can fish or you can murder some fish. Murder. Murder. But I don't want to murder some fish right now. See, my hunger bar has gone down. Now, yeah, I don't trust my air bubble. That's lava down there. Um, but I don't trust the amount of air that I have. To eat something, you right click. So I'm going to eat some apples. Ta-da! Um, you can't, this is a horse. You can ride horses, but you have to have a saddle. And I'm not sure if you can make a saddle now or if you have to find them in villages and in temples. I don't know if they've changed that because it used to be where you, can, you couldn't craft them, you could only find them, if I believe correctly. But to tame a horse, you go up to it. I'm going to choose this white one because, yeah, I know um, no reason besides I like white, uh, I like the, uh, yeah, I like the horse. Um, so you go up with an empty hand, you right click, and you right click. You basically right click until it has hearts. But to be able to actually ride it, where it goes where you want it to go, you have to have a saddle. Otherwise it goes, it go. it goes where it wants to go. So, see, ta-da! But you need a saddle to make it go where you want it to go. So I'm gonna have to sadly leave you behind. Over here, and there's also different uh, color uh, color coats patterns or coat patterns of horses. There is white. There is these over here, and then uh, there's jet black. There's gray. There's these over here that I'm going towards where it's brown spotted. There's light brown spotted and then there's just everything brown. See? And uh, see? Ta-da! With the white hooves being white. So these are pumpkins. You can hit them just like the melons. But with pumpkins... ah, ah, Do you have to carve them now? Sorry, it used to be where if you get if you carve if you uh, got a pumpkin you could wear it as a hat. It looks like they've changed it where it looks like a jack o' lantern, but you could wear it as a hat. Same thing with the melon seeds; you just put it and then you get melon seeds. Um, but it's uh, unlike the mel uh, the melons. You don't get melons. You don't get pumpkin slices from the melons. You have to actually go put the pumpkin in the inventory and get pumpkin seeds that way. Um, I don't know if they've changed it to where you can actually carve the pumpkin and wear it as a hat, but it used to be where you could wear the pumpkin as a hat. Um, I think that's everything. I know I've said that probably already, but um, to make it to where it's dark, or not dark, you just press torch down. It also helps with um, mob spawning. Um, if you don't want mob spawning in your base, put torches down. You don't have to put one for every block, just one for every few meters and it'll, you know, light up the place. Now, since I found it, this is more, you know, advanced and you could craft more stuff. Um, this is what you call iron. You have to get it with a pickaxe. Um... Do you have to, yeah, do you have to, okay, so to cook iron, you get your furnace, you put some sticks, and you put the iron in it, it cooks it, and then I'll make the crafting bench in my bed since it's getting dark. Oh, and I'm going to have to collect some more wood. Trees, where are you? Ow. 
There is fall damage in this game. Why is there no trees? Usually there's trees. Like, okay, I know there's like desert and stuff where there's no trees. But usually there's trees. Okay, so you cook it and you get an iron ingot. And this is where you can make iron tools and iron armor. Hold on, let me go get some wood real quick. And when you get one bit of iron, like tools, you get the achievement isn't iron pick. Like if you get a pickaxe, that's what it says. And you get an achievement for each, um, for each like set of tools, you get wooden tools, you get an achievement for each of those. For stone tools, you get stone upgrade to, uh, achievement. For, um, Iron, you get the Iron Iron Age, I think, achievement. And for uh, gold and diamonds, I th uh, with diamonds, you get the Diamonds achievement. It's pretty much just diamonds in all, all caps with an exclamation mark. Um, which, by the way, if, you, if something drops, if you walk near it, you automatically... Uh, sorry, that is like really loud. I usually keep it as low so it's like not hard to hear the voice of the person, but apparently it doesn't want to work that way. Um, basically I like, I personally keep the music either off. So with like my say my roleplay for example, I don't have the Minecraft music um, on top, like I don't have to put the, role the music I use for my roleplay on top of the music that's already for Minecraft. So, I usually keep it silent. Where is that cave? Oh, I walked right by it. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Um, so, you could, you, could, you could choose to whatever volume you want. I just personally like to keep it either low to where it's not overpowering my voice, which it probably was f uh, a few minutes ago, or um, just completely off. So, hold on. You can put any wood in in here and it will uh, burn to make charcoal, which is pretty much a way to make torches. If you don't have coal, you put a wood block or an oak log in the furnace. You let it cook and you get charcoal. Now I'm going to put the... And with charcoal, you make a stick and charcoal and you have torches. You could also put charcoal in the furnace, um, which makes the furnace run longer. Let me make some more wood so I can put it in here. Just have to wait. Also, when you harvest and eat and, or make things and kill uh, creatures and animals, both for food and so you don't die, you gain experience, which is the experience bar right under your hearts. Okay, so now that you have iron, I will make a helmet. See, you just put that, you could do, you have leather armor, which is with leather. You have iron armor, you have gold armor, and you have diamond armor, which pretty much you do this, this, that, and it does it for you. Or you can just memorize the recipes like most of us have. Now, you, to, to equip this, you either right-click with it in your inventory, and you get the suit-up advancement, and it, and it shows up here, or you can take it from wherever it is in your inventory and place it on you. And this is what I was talking about earlier, about the little uh, defense or armor protection. Um, if you have a full suit, it pretty much fills up all of it, except for maybe a couple. It depends on... Now... With the armor defense, if you have all leather armor, I think it does like majority of the way or halfway. Iron is better than leather. Gold is kind of iffy, but diamond is the best armor you can. Listen, sheep, I'm trying to do a thing and you're buying everywhere. Okay. Um, diamond is the best armor you can get in the game. 
and it protects you from fall damage and uh, hits from like enemies and stuff like that. Now armor will uh, degrade and I'm not sure, oops, I think you can repair armor but that might be a mod. Um, I could be wrong because you could repair, actually no no it's not a mod, you can repair um, armor with other armor. Um, just make sure you don't, you know, make sure you're repairing the one that has better damage meter than the, the one you're repairing it with. Um, also, the burned zombies drop rotten flesh. It will poison you. Okay. That looks weird. Because I'm used to seeing it with my texture pack, which makes flowers and everything look weird. It's been a while since I've had basically default Minecraft. So, this is where you get blue dye by Blue Fart. Yes, you get blue dye from that, which means you can make blue, blue beds. <laughs> I cannot speak. I apologize. Also, that is lava. If you fall into it, you will die from burn damage. If you can't get out of it fast enough and get water on you or just you have enough health to where you can withstand accidentally stepping into lava, you will die. <coughs> also, is that something burning as well? Oh yes, the, there will be an, the occasional lava pit which causes that fire. Also, this right here is clay. Which, if you put clay in the furnace, you get bricks. And if you put bricks all in... Hold on. If you get enough clay, and you put it, turn it into like bricks, and you put it basically in all of slots, you will get um, uh, the building block for like bricks, which means you can build like a brick house or a chimney. Um, I think it's mainly just for building, um, if, if I remember correctly. You could also make stairs and slabs out of stuff. Should I do it? Geronimo! Wee! Also, if you land in more than like one block or a couple blocks of water, you will not take fall damage. How do I get back up now? Over here? Come on. No. Yes. Ah. Okay. There we go. Also, if you see like chunks load and everything, um, all of a sudden that's normal. It's just loading chunks. It can only load so much at a time. So also, depending on how much you have in your world, it might take it a bit to load, like it with new terrain and stuff like that. Wee. Okay. Um, but that just depends on how much RAM uh, you are using, you are allocating for the game. So yeah, this is the. Uh, there are terrains where it's all sand. If you collect sand and put it in a furnace, you can make glass or sandstone if you want. Um, glass is how you make windows. Also, if you are able to find uh, dogs, which dogs are mainly in where you can find spruce. Uh, spruce logs, which is a darker form of oak. Um, you can, um, have a furry friend of a dog, which I think they have parrots too now, <coughs> which I'm not sure if you, uh, tame, uh, parrots with seeds or not. Um, yeah, not sure about that one. Uh, but if you have like a bone or whatever from killing a skeleton, you can make bone meal, which makes growing trees and fruit and everything, or like seeds and trees and stuff a lot faster, go by a lot faster. 
Um, also, you can grow like flowers, like you right click the grass block and it grows like grass and flowers and stuff a lot faster too. But if you run into a dog, oh geez, <laughs> about fell. Um, if you run into a dog and you right click it enough times, pretty much you do exactly what you did with the horse. Um, and you will have a furry friend. Now, I'm not including everything in my, uh, in this video because there's a lot. Um, it's most of it you just have to learn through gameplay. Um, there are wiki pages and Google is always an, an, a good source for like how do I do this or how do I do that. So this is for the PC version of the game. Um, so I did say that there was a Switch version of the game. Actually, there is a version of the game for every console. So PC, Switch, PS4. There is a mobile game, which I think is Minecraft Pocket Edition, which you can have like on phones and tablets. Um, so there's Xbox, Switch, PC, and PS4, yes. Oh, and Switch. Um, I'm not sure if there's a version of the game for Stream Deck, which is pretty much just a Switch, just for Stream. Um, but yeah, so this is the PC version of the game. So let's switch to the Switch version of the game, shall we? Hello, um, welcome to the Switch version of Minecraft. To create um, so, first off, I will let, I will let everyone know, I am not as familiar with the Switch version of the game as I am with the PC version of the game, just because I play the PC version of the game more. Now, I do know how to play the Switch and, uh, consequently, PS4 version of the game, because I have it for my PS4 as well. Um, I'm just not as familiar with it as I am with PC. Uh, so, to get into your world, you press play, and you can tell I haven't played this in a while. So we're just going to create a new world. So it's the first option, so create. Uh, no, I don't want to do templates, I just want to create a new world, which you can create. I'm going to do hold on. Sorry, I'm trying to get it to where you can Okay, so I'm just gonna create it in survival mode. And do easy like I did the last one. Uh, you can name the world, which is a little bit more uh, difficult on console because you have you don't have a keyboard to type it out. So I'm just going to call it Test World. Oops. Back. Test World. Okay, and then you can change the texture packs, all this other stuff. Uh, then click create, which I will do a... Sorry if you can hear the music through both my microphone and my... Uh... Yeah, both my microphone and my um, the game capture. Because uh, I have the get music coming out of my speakers on my uh, monitor. Whereas before I had it... I had it coming out of... No. Ah, I just turned off my monitor. Hold on. Let me turn it back on. Okay, hold on. No, I want the volume. There we go. Okay, I just reduced the volume on my 
monitor, so hopefully the music isn't as loud as it was before. I apologize for that. Um, so to mo move around is a bit different um, in the, this version of the game than it is PC, because you have the, I completely forget what they're called, the little circular buttons that you can like press and do all this other stuff with. It's pretty much like your shift buttons in your game. Uh, what is... Okay, so to... Okay. Um, that's new. Okay, so again, not really familiar, but I'll do my best to uh, do the controls on here. To um, So if you have the typical um, like two con uh, hand controllers for the game. Uh, I will try and put a picture up of the controller with arrows of what I'm talking about. If you press the up button, you can change your point of view, which I forgot to mention, but on P PC version, if you press F5, it does the same thing. Um, down is drop. Oops. Uh, this is to do different character things. That's cool. Uh, okay, so Y is inventory. B is back. Y is crafting. You have a recipe book like the other one. Um, pretty much is laid out same as before. You just have, you know, a controller instead of a mouse. Uh, a is jump. X is also your inventory. Okay, Y is your inventory, but X is also your inventory. <laughs> That's weird. Um, so to look around, you press the, um, for instance, I have the basic uh, version of like the controllers for the game, so I have the red and blue. So if you use the one on the red one, and you just rotate the little circle thingy, uh, you can look around and make yourself dizzy if you're not careful. Uh, B is sneak, but so is pressing the pressing down on the th um, the circle button. Uh, the the other one, if you press if you hold on if you press the button, it is sprint. I'm gonna try and get out of this snow biome. <laughs> so if you sprint and jump, you can move around the map pretty quickly. Which there is options to have uh, auto jump on. I don't know if there's auto jump for Switch, but there is auto jump for PC, which means you don't have to press A constantly. You can just it automatically does it for you. So this is a broken um, Nether portal. Oops. No, I want. No, I want. No. Hey. Ooh, we got some armor. And some flint and steel. And a shovel. This shovel will save my life, I tell you. <laughs> also, it's... It, for, like, for me, who's so used to... Okay, for someone who's so used to playing PC, playing it on Switch is honestly a bit difficult. <laughs> or playing it like with a console is honestly just a bit difficult. It's nice they give you a map. So to hit something, you press uh, RZ, which if you press snow with a shovel, you get sand, which this has a mod, uh, an enchantment on it, which makes it so it um, digs more. Um, to do just one is... L Z L Z L, 
to go through inventory is R and L. Um, which, by the way, the survival mechanics and stuff are pretty much the same between uh, Switch and PS PS Switch, PS4, and PC. To hit something, you hit the uh, Z uh, Z R. You can walk on ice, which you can also walk on ice and slide a bit. On PC, I'll take a desert over snow any day. I think that's just more snow. Is that more snow? That's a polar bear. We're not going to go over there. Hi, Mr. Polar Bear. Bye, Mr. Polar Bear. Um, oh, there's snow on the sand, because that makes sense. Good grief. I just want to get out of the snow biome. Just let me get out of the snow biome, please. Oh, and be careful. If you get stuck under the ice, and you're not careful, and you run out of air oxygen, you will die. Um, it's that way with PC too. I think I hit the snow biome. <laughs> no. Is that? No. 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 <laughs> There's snow on the sand. Uh... Anyway, um, I think that's pretty much everything. Um, I did forget to record how to create a world in a uh, PC version, so I will switch back to that. Uh, oh, bunny! I found some bunnies. Hello. Also, if you accidentally hit a bunny, it will become an evil bunny, which will mur will try and murder you. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> Be nice to the bunnies. It's like in Skyrim, where you just be nice to the chickens and people won't attack you. Because if you accidentally attack a chicken, the entire time will- oh! I found the not snow biome. Because <laughs> uh, if you attack a chicken in Skyrim, it will uh, cause an entire village to murder you. Also to swim, pretty much you just walk in the water and if you look down, you swim to go back up, you press A. A is pretty much space. Um, so yeah, uh, going back to creating that world in uh, PC now. So we're going to create a world on my PC, or the PC version of the game, sorry. Um, this is my modded uh, roleplay, uh, or the, the version of the game that's modded that I use for my roleplay, so that's why it has the forge and all that stuff at the bottom. Anyways, um, pretty much everything's the same if you play it, like, um, without mods, it's just a base game. All, this, this is pretty much the same, just it has a mods thing instead of just one realm thing. Anyways, so to play with multiplayer, you have to have, like, a server with an IP address. If you're just playing on the same world, and, and, like, in the same internet or whatever, you can load a single player world. Okay, so you can open a, a single player world, then, actually no, we'll get into that in a minute, hold on. So to create a single player world, you go to single player, you go to create new world, if you want it sort of a hardcore creative, name the world, do the world, um, world type, which is default, flat, large biomes, and amplified, and customed, I could be wrong. Um, you won't have Biomes of Plenty unless you have Biomes of Plenty mod installed, so just ignore that. You can choose to allow cheats on and off, which means you can change the type of game mode, the XP, you can teleport, stuff like that. If you have an open um, a bonus chest, it will give you like extra wood or sticks or like an apple or something like that, so it gives you something to start off with besides nothing. Uh, you want to keep generated structures on, but once you have all of that, you just create new world and you can play. Now, to open the lane world that I mentioned, um, let me open up my roleplay world real quick so I can show you the uh, open lane world. 
Okay, so this is the world that my role plays in. So you won't have, hold on, let me turn mini off. So you won't have like mini map or all the mods or like uh, these, these fences and or these torches. So just ignore that. Uh, which by the way, uh, anyway, that, anyways, um, so to open a, with the land world, what I was talking about, if you're on the same internet and you create a world, you can press escape, open to land, which means you can choose cheats off, which means you can change, the person who joins the world can, um, uh, like do like, slash game mode to change the game mode, TP themselves to people or places. You could choose the type of game mode you're in, survival, creative, specter, creative, adventure, survival. Um, and you click open the world and other people on the same internet can play in the same world. Now, to have people who want to, uh, like who have different internet access, um, who want to play in the same world, then you have to go to multiplayer which you could either host that yourself or have someone else host it for you. But yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, this video. Um, I hope it was informative and uh, I'll see you later.